Hi everybody, today we're going to be talking about sand baths. Now there's not really a lot online about them, but they're really important to have a happy and healthy hamster. Hamsters cannot be bathed in water. This removes all the good oils in their coat and they end up just producing more. If they stay wet for too long, they could even go into shock and die. If you've ever had a hamster before, then you know they do a pretty good job at cleaning on their own. But they do need a way to remove excess oils from their coat. To help them do this, you should give them a sand bath. Make sure that the container for the sand is quite large so you can include a hideout. This makes your hamsters feel safe and secure and they are more likely to use it. What should I avoid? Hamsters have delicate respiratory systems. Dust or powder such as chinchilla bathing dust is harmful as it can cause respiratory infections due to the sand being so fine and easy to inhale. You want to stay away from any sand with added calcium or dyes. Sands that you can use would include any reptile sand that doesn't have added calcium or dyes, children's play sand but you will need to heat this in the oven if it has not been heat coated already, and the sand such as Tiny Friends Farm, although this is less preferred because sometimes it is too fine and there are better other options out there. Now the final thing I need to talk about is cleaning. You need to make sure there is no poo or wee that is in the sand bath. To do this it's really easy if you just use a little sieve and you can sieve through the sand and make sure there's no debris or other bits inside it. I also like to give mine a wipe down with safe vinegar water spray because Mouse likes to wean his quite a lot and use it as his bathroom. Thank you everybody who watched my video all the way to the end. If you enjoyed please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Comment on what videos I should do next and I'll see you next week. Bye!